Mickey, what's cracking, man? What's new? Oh, man, shit, I can't call. It was good. Man, a lot of boxing has just came through, man. I want to get your thoughts, man, your reactions on all these fights, man. From Friday to Saturday, it was a lot of fights. And, um, you know, I think a lot of people learned a lot from these fighters. Um, and I want to know what you learned from these fighters as well. Um, let's start with Friday, uh, Norfolk, Keyshawn Davis card. You know, we have Abdullah Mason. He goes down two times. He shows adversity, but... The what he does after is incredible. He still gets the stoppage. What you think about Abdullah Mason's performance? Um, yeah, it was a good finish. You know, uh, it was one of them things to where, like I tell everybody in boxing, anybody could be hurt and anybody could be knocked down. So, you know, it ain't like, you know, I I took. Like, it made me panic as far as him getting dropped. Because, like I say, you got the best chin in boxing and still get knocked down. Um, he got up. He was clear. His legs wasn't shaky. And, he, you know, he put dude out, you know. You know, that's my little guy. That's like family. Of course, I didn't want to see him go down. But, you know, I do like the way that he finished it. Um, um, the dude probably was a puncher, though. You know, a lot of times being a big puncher doesn't require skills. That's what people don't realize. Like you could be, you could have, you could have power like Mike Tyson, but be mediocre in the skill department. You know that. Don't, you know that. You know. So, um, I thought it was a good finish, man. He got up and he and he handled his business. Everybody liked the fight, and um, you know he was humble about it. You know that's just how he is, man. That great, great kid, man. Um, you know I like the way he finished that. Now, when you look at, you know, um, him dealing with adversity, then you have the following week we had Floyd Schofield, you know, go through the same adversity to getting knocked down. I mean, when you see the maturity level in those two guys, because we see that that fight could possibly be brewing up in the near future. Um, tell me, what did you, who do you feel like had a better performance and who do you feel like just shows more experience uh, when going through something like that. Oh, Abdullah, you know, Abdullah for sure. Um, you know, I hear them going around a lot. I I was actually there when they spar, you know. So, you know, they, you know, Schofield. <coughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I was there. Yeah, I was there. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how was the work? Was it good work? Nah, it was one-sided on Abdullah's end. Like I'm just keeping it real. Like I don't I don't go around doing all this, but it nah it was one sided. One sided Abdullah Mason whooping. Yeah. No, I'm saying Abdullah did the you know it was one sided whooping. on his yeah. hands. Abdullah had the belt in his hands. Yeah. Yeah. Yup. How many you rounds? Know, it, yeah, it was like years ago, man. You know, um you know, I'm me and Abdul, the family is close. We all come up from the same town. So we sparred a lot of guys. Uh we sparred a lot of guys, man. I could say, you know, and Abdul is Abdul the torched a lot of cats. I could say that. <laughs> you know, yeah. we barely had close sparring. That wasn't a close one. I could just say that. Like I, I can't even remember. I, I I know it wasn't good competitive work because I, I could count on one hand me seeing somebody give Abdul a good work in sparring. It was barely on one hand, like, you know, so. Um, so I was there and I was there training Devin when Schofield sparred with Devin, too. <laughs> when Devin had one hand because he had a broke hand. And he boxed him with one hand. So Devin made it easy work with one hand. Yeah, but Schofield did get better though. Like he always been a hard worker and all that. I think his pops do a lot for publicity because I know the dude, man. Dude, a good, humble cat in person. You know, I don't know what he. You know, as far as when he get on here, I don't know what happened. But yeah, I was in the corner of both of them. <laughs> but I'm saying that Abdullah, you know, nah. They, I don't know if they they probably mentioned it themselves, but man. Nah. Nah, his pops I, is saying that, you know, he, he hurt the boys. You nah. know. He said he hurt who? He's saying that he hurt Abdullah, you know. Nah, man, nah, was, nah, not even man, close, huh? Like that. 
Yeah, no, nah, man, listen. So Pops is selling, so Pops is selling dreams. Is what man, we're Abdullah was uh -huh. torching everybody. I put him in the, everybody that that he was lined up with. He torched him. Like the only people that I witnessed is Devin Haney, and then I ain't see him spar with Shakur. But of course, them two. You know, Abdullah uh -huh. was only probably like I think sixteen at the time or something. Yeah. What was he helped him off for ca at Cambosis? Nah, it was before then. It was a little, it was a well time. It was before then. Like, but I'm I saying. Remember, I remember them telling me that that they did the Devin Haney training camp for sparring. They helped Who Devin did? with somebody. Yeah. Uh, Schofield? Abdullah. Oh, no, nah, we kind of was just in the gym training together. Like, you know, we was all together training just in general. But one day Devin needed some work because his sparring partners ain't show up one day. I had I had three sparring partners for Devin, okay. two of them. So Abdullah had just worked out and sparred, but Devin just wanted to move around. So Abdullah and one of the other Mason brothers, you know, it's five of them. So two of them end up sparring with Devin, kind of just moving around with him, just so Devin could get the rounds. But now we was kind of like training together, like we wasn't really. It was just that day that they worked, but I'm saying. Um, but nah, Ab Abdullah was running through everybody though. Like it, it, it would have stuck out if I, if I knew somebody really hung with him, it would have stuck out because he was torching everybody. Man, torching everybody. You heard it first. You heard it first, guys. From uh, you know Mickey Bay. He 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 tells no lies. Yeah, no, nah, definitely not. Ain't you know? Um. So what you think about the brothers? The brothers, uh, the 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 Davis brothers, you know. Uh, let's let's start with Keon's. Uh, uh, did you were you able to see his pro debut? Um, yeah, yeah, I seen it. Yeah, he could fight. Uh, you know, they are. You know, um, you got Keyshawn pretty much leading the way. It looked like they got something right there in Virginia. Sold a lot of tickets. Yeah, uh, yeah. Smash the so, light bulb, ladies and gentlemen, as well. Yeah, that was a good win though for Keyshawn. You know, the fashion that he won in was a good win. Um Yeah. Go right I ahead. Was, dive dive yeah. right in. Yeah, I would like to see him uh with somebody like the guy more Tyler, since they both are top rank and they've been kind of asking for the fight. I would like to see them maybe like in, you know, in the in a good a good main event. Somebody mm -hmm. like him or or the winner does it pay to fight this weekend? One of them type fights. Mm. So, obviously, we have uh, tons of interviews today. Uh, one of them is Coach Panda as well. Uh, tonight, uh, William Cepeda's coach uh, and former coach of Subra Matias. Um, but what did you like about the performance? What did you take off? out of the the stoppage, you know, when it came down to Keyshawn Davis's performance. What 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 stood out? Um well he pretty much he performed under the lights. You know, it was in his hometown. A lot of guys had trouble in their hometowns because you deal with a lot of you deal with a lot of stuff fighting at home. And um he seemed to um you know, he seemed to to, to come out on top because dude, um, what's dude name? Uh, Hitchens fought him, and I knew I knew dude was tough from that fight. So he goes out and says, "Knock, knock, Tank Davis, talk to me." Is it? Yeah, too I wouldn't jump. I, I I can't jump him to Tank. Like you come, we gotta get a couple. I mean, I feel him. Why not? But it's like you know. Let's see, let's see him with, with a couple more, you know. Let's build it up, build build up a little bit. His boy should be able to get him first, Shakur. Mm. Yeah, like Keyshawn, I wouldn't jump the line. Like he come, he 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 coming along, you know. That's that's something that probably could happen in the future. But I think Shakur is more closer to that than Keyshawn. I think Keyshawn, I would like to see him with. Even I would like to see him rematch the the guy he fought for the gold medal, Andy Cruz. 
Yeah, I would I, I would like that, man. Dude, dude is calling for it pretty much. Cruz, I think that'd be a good fight, man. Him to go avenge that in the pros, then say he stopped, dude. And then he get him another one or two. Then you could say, all right, maybe him and Tank. But right now, I don't see it happening.